Hey y'all, coming to you from the Scotty DTV, you can't cancel cool road tour 2020. And today I'm in Speedway, Indiana, visiting my buddy, Mark Reinhardt. And he's got a 64 Volkswagen single cab. I think y'all are gonna like. Let me get the camera turned around. We'll take a quick look at it. What a cool Volkswagen. Tell me a little bit about it, Mark. Yeah, Scotty, I bought this. I, a friend of mine had a 58 single cab and I've been wanting one forever. He wouldn't sell me his. Right. So I got on the internet, started looking, found this one out in uh, Phoenix, Arizona. School teacher had owned it, spent all his money restoring the thing, wanted to go on vacation, decided to sell it. I ended up buying, buying the truck from him, getting it shipped to Indianapolis. Truck was pretty much bone stock, just like it would have been rolled off the showroom floor in 1964. Had it been redone? Yeah, completely restored. Okay. So I took the truck, um, called Wagons West, had him build me a front beam, adjustable front beam for it with Willwood disc brakes on it. All right. Put that underneath the truck, and then you have to do a Volkswagen's transmission in the rear because these trucks had straight axles underneath front and rear. Oh, okay. So we took the straight axle out, put a Volkswagen suspension underneath the rear end of it with the transmission. Was that out of a bug or something? Yes, it's the, yeah. yeah, it's out of a Volkswagen bug, yeah. Okay. And then... Uh, do you do motor and everything, or you just do the suspension, and you can do the motor separate from that? Yeah, just the suspension is all I did. The motor's brand new. It's, right. it's got this little 1600 dual port motor in it. Yeah? Um, How many horsepower is that thing? I would imagine around 65 to 70, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder what the payload is for this. How much can you carry? I have no idea, because I just kind of yeah. build it as a little hot rod truck, you right. know. I, I say hot rod loosely, but yeah, it, it goes down the road pretty good. I mean, it'll run 60, 65, yeah. no problem. And then I ended up uh, putting the Porsche wheels on it and a little smaller tire in the front and a larger tire in what the are, back. What size are they? No. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. Small Porsches, right? <laughs> what yeah. Porsche would it Oh, the Porsche of? wheels are a 15 inch Yeah, wheel, okay, right? yeah. As far as tire size, I can't remember because we, we use a, I wanted to have a little bit of a rake on it, so I used a little smaller tire in the front and a taller tire in the rear. Yeah, because it's got a great little stance to it. Mm -hmm. I love how the front windows open on it. Yeah, I put the windows in it. Um, I guess the difference between a single cab or a standard cab and a deluxe cab were the fold-out windows. So this was a standard cab model. I ended up finding some windows, including the rear window, that actually I actually put all them in, and they all open up. Yeah, because they don't have no air condition. No, sir. Yeah, so you got to have some <laughs> circulation somehow. Right. And what would you do with this paint on this? Was that done or is that something you've done the to it? The paint was done in, in the dove blue and the white and uh, just looked a little industrial for me. Yeah. So I took the white and I just threw some red on there and kind of patinaed all the white and then the V in the front of the bus or the truck, I should say. Yeah. Uh, I wanted it to stand out because when it was all blue, it didn't stand out at all. Right. So went ahead and patina that and you know that's my thing i like to patina stuff if you notice yeah. a lot of my cars have a patina on it some people like it some people don't right know. well uh, i mean your nose is mr junk yeah right right, right. So, i mean you can't have everything shiny and top notch it's got to be something that's yeah. looks junky if it's really yeah. not i like it to look a certain way and then when people really look at it they're like wow this is pretty nice what about the interior and the interior was pretty much done i went ahead and okay. put a stereo it had no stereo in it so i had my guys at Elite Auto Image, they went ahead and put a stereo in it, which they, we did an amp and two six by nines and then a 13 inch slend line sub. And it's all Bluetooth to my phone, so there's still no head unit or anything. So when you look in there, you don't really even see a stereo system. You see two little six and a quarter speakers in that. Right, so, yeah. how cool is that? But yet I'm sure it rocks. Oh, yes, yeah. it definitely rocks. Yeah. And then it's not just like, I don't want to call it a dump truck because it don't dump, but it's not exactly a pickup truck either. The bed's kind of very versatile too. Yeah, they called these transporters because they were used to transport army equipment or whatever back in the day. So all three sides of the beds fold down and then there's actually a cabinet underneath of the bed that goes from one side to the other that has doors you can open up and use for storage as well. And what about the uh, single cab was it that made you want to get one? They're just, you never see them. A lot of people have no idea what that is. They think I actually took a van and cut the back end off and made a truck bed on yeah. it. And it it's it not does kind of have that look to it. Yeah. yeah, no, they were actually trucks. They were made by Volkswagen to do exactly what they do. They use them to transport. Was that something they imported into the United States or was it only in Germany? No, there was there obviously a lot in Germany. Um, I, From what I understand doing research, 
a lot of them went to Canada. Okay. And there was a few here in the United States, but a lot of people don't remember them. Right. Uh, they remember the buses right. and the campers, right. but they don't really remember the trucks. No, brother. I appreciate you giving me some time today. All right. Thanks, Scotty. So there you go from the Scotty DTV You Can't Cancel Cool Road Tour in the Reinhardt Collection, a 1964 Volkswagen single cab. How cool is that? Hope you all have enjoyed it. See ya! Hey y'all, make sure you subscribe to this channel and visit scottydtv.com for an easy way to search the hundreds of videos I have posted. Either click the link in the description or the one at the end of this video.